Still on those meds, huh? Uh, yeah. They, uh, they helped me to, um, uh, think. Okay, time for an eyes open nap. God, look what those pills are doing to you. Putting you on that stuff was a huge mistake. Like inviting a turtle to a cocktail party. Hey, ask me why they call me a box turtle. Mom, 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 mom. See, this is how American society treats unique, enthusiastic children. Instead of embracing their mental gifts, their first reaction is to shoot them up with hardcore drugs until they're mindless sheeple. All the better to send off to Kuwait and feed the Halliburton oil machine, right? <laughs> Bush. Yep, takes all kinds. You know, a lot of kids in my school take ADD pills. They say if you're lazy and unmotivated, it makes you super energized and productive. Re really? Productive? Yeah, and college kids take it all the time so they can focus on their studies and drinking alcohol with their butts. Focus, huh? Okay, well, Stewie, these babies can help the garbage disposal focus, because that's where they're going. No need to follow me, because I just said what I was going to do. Oh. My God, I can't stop. The words are just pouring out of me. I have more energy than a guy who caught a t-shirt. <laughs> My wife can wear this to sleep. My wife can wear this to sleep. Okay, today we're putting together duck breast medallions with a port wine reduction. And as I'm walking you through the steps, watch your screen for Junior Chef Peter's pop-up tips. Helpful hints and food factoids to make your meal a success. You can want to start with a large self-sealing plastic bag. And in that bag, we'll combine one large finely chopped garlic clove, one tablespoon of grated peeled fresh ginger, two teaspoons of five spice powder, a teaspoon of salt, and a half teaspoon of fresh ground pepper. And then you're going to want to add the duck breasts, seal the bag, and refrigerate that for at least one hour, or up to 24 hours if you want to prepare this ahead of time. Just make sure you remove the bag from the refrigerator one hour before cooking. You're going to put that in your oven, preheated to 400 degrees. So we just spoon on the drippings, and that'll brown the skin nicely. If you bang these metal spoons on everything, it's like stomp. Look at me! I'm huge in 2002! Peter! Nothing like a night at the theater that ends in a headache. Damn it, Peter, that's it! I can't do this show with you anymore! You're fired! What? You can't fire me! Only Mr. Spacely can fire me! Griffin! You're fired! Okay, that's fair. <laughs> Peter, can I come in? Hold on, let me put on my weird old actress turban. Yes? Listen, I saw what happened, but you should know we at the station would hate to lose you. You're a big hit with the viewers. I will not work with that man again. I'm not asking you to. In fact, we'd like to offer you your own cooking show. Hmm. Let me consult with my lawyer. Well, Peter, since the DUIs happen so close together, we don't really have much wiggle room here. I suggest you take the jail time and just get it over with. I'll do it. After October 13th. Come on, Rupert. Wait, wait till you see this. This is really something special. Check out how much water is in the dehumidifier. Wow! That was all in the air! Brian? Is that, is that, uh, is that, uh, you? Stewie, rearrange. Uets, rearrange. Weest, restore. Stewie, hey, come see what I've been working on. I call it Space Shire 7. Nice, nice. It's like, uh... It's like a fake uh, place you made? It's a medieval sci-fi universe adaptable to TV, movies, toys, games, and mobile apps. I threw together a 2,000-page treatment last night, and I just figured the hell with it. Why not build a scale model and record voices for all the characters? Watch. Well met, stranger. Arashkadikaba Plitcho. That's a Nebulon mage. He speaks Gabi, this dumb language I wrote. It's then illegal? What? Hello? Hello? 